Hi, I'm Roma, and I'm going to tell you now about two different ways that buildings can be built. So, gravity pulls the weight of structures down, and there's two different ways that we can actually resist that. The first way is with what we call load-bearing walls. So that's very similar to the mud huts that our ancestors made, where you had basically solid walls. If I just kind of spin this round and tape it up a little bit, what you're going to see is if I put um, some weight on it, so, you're, so this is our little mud hut and now we've got the roof or whatever else we've got on there like that. What's happening right now is that the gravity, the weight of this roof or the book is travelling uniformly all the way around the structure. So that's one, the load-bearing wall. The second one is what we call a frame system. And that's what I've got all these amazing kebab sticks for. So I'm going to try and build very quickly a little frame and then we can look at how the gravity actually flows through that. So here's my slightly wonky kebab stick structure. But all I've done really is just to tape the sticks together into a bit of a frame system, which is what we call the second one. So I'm just going to put the last piece down here. Now the reason that this type of structure is different than the mud hut we saw earlier is that you can see that there isn't a continuous wall around here. So you've got lots of different bits of structure, there's columns and beams and struts and all things coming together. So now when I load this structure up, so I'm just going to put this book on here, it's now quite different. So now what's happening is that the weight of the book is actually traveling through the different kebab sticks. So this is called a frame structure. So that's the two types of homes that we can build in order to carry the weight of the materials and the people inside, the load-bearing walls and the frame structure.